Hello, my name is Kelly McCown. I'm the teacher, author, and owner of Teaching Math and More LLC. Today on the Teaching Math and More channel, we are talking about how to make math intervention work in your classroom now. Where do you start? Do your students need math intervention? Do they need to know grade level math skills? Do they lack the basic understanding of concepts? What skills do you want your students to know and master? Math intervention with your students can be an overwhelming task, but when you simplify the process and do it in a meaningful way, you can have success too. Math intervention works. Let's look at 10 tips for making math intervention work in your classroom now. We'll go over how to implement and include on our list of 10 only the strategies that work. Tip number one, organization. Be organized about your math intervention. Find out what skills your students should know. Make an organized list of the grade level math standards to review. See which ones students know and focus your intervention on skills they don't know yet. Tip number two, one skill a day. Teach, practice, or review just one math standard every day. Pick one standard and teach or reteach the skill. Practice, 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 and review. Tip number three, use a calendar. Make a calendar and schedule your math interventions. When you write them down, you'll be intentional and they will happen. Plans don't just happen, you have to make them happen. So be intentional and set realistic goals for teaching, practicing, and reviewing these math skills with your students. Tip number four, assessments. So when you assess your students' skills, do it informally. Pick one skill to informally assess and make it an informal assessment. For example, like an exit slip, just do one question and don't grade it. You just want to know if they can solve the question. Do not take it for a grade in the grade book. This is just a seat if they know how to do it or not. Tip number five, small groups. Provide weekly small group math sessions. Get your students in small groups and teach, reteach a math skill. This is easy to do with math centers or math station. Tip number six, mini lessons. Give a 15 to 20 minute mini lesson. Make it a refresher for students quick and easy to digest the material. You could do notes, a practice page, or even an interactive notebook activity. Number seven, assign review. By assigning math stations or centers for review, students can focus on one skill. So they'll rotate between the centers to practice, apply, and problem solve in different ways. Tip number eight, limit the number of problems you give your students. By limiting the number of problems given for math intervention, this can be helpful to students who easily get overwhelmed. So just choose seven to 12 problems to work on, give range of difficulty, or just focus on practicing word problems. Tip number nine, plan your focus. Maybe you need to do a one month intentional intervention focused on key skills your students need, focus on skills they need, but they don't know yet. So create a calendar plan of how you will review those skills only in one month and keep your plan on focus. Tip number 10, evaluate students. After the one month intentional intervention, give your students an assessment based on the grade level skills and standards that you chose to do in that one month of intentional intervention. See what they know now and if they need to review any other skills before the end of the year. Daily math interventions make it easy for you. Math intervention needs to be ongoing. So do checkups, exit slips, see what your students know, what they don't know yet. Give informal assessments to measure their understanding of skills. There is a solution to the problem of starting effective math intervention for your students. Here's a blueprint for math intervention success for every student. The link to join Simplify Your Math Intervention are in the comments below. You can have simple math intervention. Learn how to only use intervention strategies that work and are successful for all students. Included in this workshop is a bonus math intervention project to get your students on grade level in math by the end of the year, and it works my students were able to use this math project and be on grade level by the end of the year. Here's what you'll get. Math intervention, when it's done right, can be a very powerful tool for students. It helps students make sense of math on their own and get students ready for the next level of math. You're invited to sign up for Simplify Your Math Intervention. You'll receive the workshop video, guide, notes, tips, strategies, and bonus math intervention project with an editable digital copy included too. For more information about Simplify Your Math Intervention, be sure to sign up for the Teaching Math and More emails. 
Be sure to sign up in the description of this video and thank you for subscribing to our channel. We will see you next week.